What's going on guys, Color D with another Bleach Mode Souls video. So today's gonna be the last day for the coin event, which Lisa and Hiyori are gonna be a part of. So I wanted to go over it real quick for you guys, just so you guys can have my point of view on who I think you should pick, which character would be better for you, and in what formation. So I was checking over Hiyori, and it seems like for in order for her to do more damage with her rate skill, you do need the weapon Awaken which if you see right here in the bottom, it says increase the percentage of healing to the percentage of the current HP as extra damage to the target, which is great, but in order to do that extra damage, you're going to need Fury. Each stack of Fury increases max HP by 10% to a max of 150%. And in order to get to do more damage with her rage you're gonna need that weapon awaken i really think that they should put that that um more damage with based off your max health into the regular rage and then once you have the weapon awaken increase the damage even more that way it's more usable for free to play players um her mastery skill deals bleed damage for one round and then hiori's defense increases by 10 percent for one round so and then her, her rage, just the regular rage, we read over it, steals enemy to the f enemy's front row, heals for 10% of the damage, if the target's bleeding, she heals for 10% of that damage. So Hyori is good, but she's a lot better with her weapon awaken. Last shield of vermilion bird, so she's going to gain rage whenever you do a basic attack. For heroic warsaw, increase defense by a certain percentage for all defense specialty characters. Her talent and squad boss, all characters gain rage quicker. And then let's check over her her bonds. So you're going to need Yami, who we do know is going to be a recharge soon. You're going to need Hachi, Unahana, and then Shikai Tashiro. So, and then let's see what else you need for the for the tomb. You're going to need the Martial Physique Tomb. For the emblem, it's going to be the Seer of the Flame. Now let's check over Lisa. So Lisa's Mastery Skill deals damage to an enemy. The skill ignores 20% of the target's defense, so she hits harder on that Mastery Skill. And then for the Rage, it deals damage to an enemy back row. The less targets there are in the enemy's back row, the more damage. Lasts one round. When the weapon is awakened, damage increases greatly and deals a random debuff on one of the targets. So that one seems a bit better than Hyori for damage because she is going to hit that back row. The less enemies there are there, she's going to deal more damage. If it is just one single target there, then she's going to deal even more damage. And then her passive is pretty interesting because it's... So I'll read over it. So if you have any white tigers in your formation, Lisa deals more damage to male enemies. If you have any Azura dragons in your formation, she her rage skill applies crush, which if we read down below, crush, if the target current HP is over 70%, you deal 60% more damage to, to that target. If you have Vermilion birds in that formation with her, rage skill has a 40% chance to bleed her target for one round. If there are black tortoises alive, her rage skill, life steals for 8% of the damage dealt. So, Lisa looks like a better attacker overall, and a very good attacker at that. Let's see her heroic war souls. Increase attack for all characters in squad boss. More damage in squad boss. She's a white tiger when an ally dies. The 21 rage is regenerated when an enemy dies. 75% of the. Alright, so she gains more rage when an ally dies. For her talent. In Battle Arena, Kampachi, attack, defense, and HP of all characters are increased by a certain percentage. So that's pretty good. But that me does mean you have to put some work into it. For her bonds, you're going to need Gin, which most of us should have. You're going to need Shunsui. And then you're going to need also Hyori and Mashiro. And then for the Tome, you're going to need the Zan Zanjutsu. Emblem, you're going to need the Aricity of the Wind. So I'm going to go with Lisa on this one just because she is going to be able to deal more damage than Hiyori for Hiyori in order for me to do that more damage I need that weapon awaken I'm not going to be able to get that weapon so I'm going to go for for Lisa 
And then when that recharge or that coin event comes back with all four of those characters, Kente, Rukia, Lisa, and Hiyori, I'm going to have to decide between either going for making Lisa to four star or making Kente to four star. Um, since I'm going to be free to play, I think I might go with Kente, who I'm going to use in Arena more. Or I might pick Lisa. I still don't know who yet, but I will make that decision probably in a month from now when that coin event comes back for me. And then just so you guys can see the other coin event uh, characters that are in here. You do have Shikai Tashiro, you have Tessai, and then you have Miyuri. And then you have those orbs. You have Bankai Tashiro's weapon. Horse of the Wrath. Is it the Sanjutsu? Electricity of the Wind. So basically the materials needed to upgrade Lisa. That's going to be it for this coin event. If you're free to play, if you're looking for a good attacker and you need some damage, for sure go for Lisa because she's going to help you out big time. She's going to hit that back row. Um, Hiyori is going to be good for Vermilion Birds formation. She probably will be good with Ukiora, but like I said guys, she's not going to be able to deal that extra damage without that weapon awaken. So, you're asking me who I'm going to go for, I'm going for Lisa. And that's going to be it for the video guys. Tell me what you guys think about the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you have any comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And as always guys, have a good one.